Please don't have a go at me. I know, I know I should have let someone know where I was. I just, just had to get away, you know, from everything. I just needed a bit of time by myself to get my head straight. But I'm here now, ain't I? I am sorry, all right? Just don't give me any grief. I've had a really shit week. So I was in the pub, right, with, uh, with Tomo and Kyle in last Saturday afternoon. You knew that, I told you, right? And we were having such a laugh. You know what Tomo's like? Slagging everyone off and doing his impressions of them all? You should see his impression of Carol. Spot on. I mean, it's fucking spot on. You know that thing she does with her mouth? <laughs> mm. Anyway, it's the big game, and uh, I told you that, didn't I? And there's loads of people in there, and the atmosphere is real good. Everyone's having a laugh, having a beer. There's loads of people in there as well, loads of regulars, loads of other people we don't know, which is what happens when there's a game on. The pub's right next to the ground, isn't it? And just before kickoff, this old bloke comes in by himself. He looks a little bit familiar, but I don't know him, and I don't think any more about it. Only, as the game's going on, this geezer's looked at me a couple of times. It's a pub. It's busy. Can't help but catch people's eyes. But it's more the way he looks at me. Like he knows me. And I'm racking my brain thinking, how do I know him? Or where I could know him from, but I, I don't. And then it's half time. And it all goes a bit mental. Everyone going for a drink or going for a piss. Carlin goes to the bar and Tom goes out for a cigarette. So I go for a slash. I come out. Can't see those two. So I goes outside for a smoke myself. And I'm there having a few laughs with the lads. And this old bloke comes out. He comes over to me and says, can I have a light? And I said, yeah. So I light his fag. And he, uh, he says to me, you don't remember me, do you? I'm like, nah. He goes, you're Bobby's boy, ain't you? And I can't describe it. I don't know what I felt. It's been so long since my dad died that... Even though I still think about him a lot. Well, nobody really mentions him anymore, so to hear his name was, was, was just weird. Kind of knocked the breath out of me, you know? I wasn't expecting it. So I think I just sort of stuttered like, yeah, yeah, I am. And, and he says, yeah, I remember you. You look just like him, and, uh, and I start asking him questions, like how he knew my dad, and he says they were mates and they used to work together for a while, and he remembered mum, and he remembers staying at our house a few times, and it was so exciting. It was just so exciting, like mum never, ever talks about dad anymore, but this man, this guy, he knew him. So I asked him more questions, like what was he like? What did he like doing, and, and was he funny? And this bloke, he was telling me things about my dad I've never heard before, you know? And it was so exciting and I felt like a little kid. And then the second half's about to start and he shakes my hand and he goes, it's really good to see you again, kid. And as he does, I, I notice his tattoo. Right, between his thumb and his index finger. Just a little black cross. Just two lines. Suddenly, I felt like a whoosh. Like a head rush. Like a sense of something bad. Like, like when you're drunk and you're just about to be sick, it wasn't a memory or, or anything concrete, just a sense of something. Something really bad and... I don't know what to do. And, and I'm just standing there and he's gone back in and I'm standing there by myself on this spot and I can't fucking move. I don't know what to do and I'm, and I'm struggling to breathe and, and I can't hear properly, it's like I'm underwater. And everything's, everything looks weird, like blurry and, and I can't really see properly and I don't really know what's going on and I don't know what I'm going to do but it's, somehow I just thought of, I'm just standing there and, and then somehow I found myself on Charnwood Acres caravan site on their, 
Only M1, you know how it is, you know what I mean? And don't remember much. And it's inside me and, and, it, and it wants to come out, but I don't know how. I don't, know, I don't want it to come out, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm really scared. I'm fucking terrified. I don't know what I'm going to do. Please help me. Ha <laughs> <laughs>